I messed it all up. I, I, try to do the I don't understand thing. why every Monday we have I, an issue about putting Erica in the camera. I don't even understand. Like, that's all I Go ahead. I, mo I moved phone. over. I moved no, over. No, all you got to do is move the camera. But you still ain't getting close enough to me. Because I'm still not well. We're live. Hi, hey. everybody. Hi, Cheyenne. Hey, What's Cheyenne going on? Badass. Hey, bad Jason. See it, sunshine. It's built with Sha -na -na -na. my Renaissance Cheyenne. grandma. Talk We missed you all. Yeah, yo, sunshine. man. Boy, it feels. It's been like two weeks, baby. Feels like brand new. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like new. our first time, right? Kind of got fluttery, like a little, little butterflies and stuff before we came on. You know, like ooh, Philly my first slow. day on the job. I know it's been a while, especially yeah. me. Ooh. It's Alex, good. Alex is liking school a little bit too much. He's liking the girls. He's no, liking the, the sports. My legs hurt so much. Yeah. Like cross country. Hey, shout out to everybody that was uh, cheering Alex on at his first track meet. Yes. Very good. Very good. He did well. Something new. A new journey for him. I'm going to tell you how it mixes in later, but. A new journey for him. School is a new journey, but being involved in like any organized sport, this is his first time. Very, so. very. I was a couch. Shout player. out to, uh, shout out to him for sticking with it because that first day, boy, he was on the ground at the track saying, "I don't want to do it no more." So, hey, Urban. He stuck it in there. Say it different. He stuck it out. I don't want to get us. Armel, what time. else? Hey, well, I have abs now because of track. Mike and what the word, brother, brother? What's going on? Hey, Mike. Hey, <laughs> Urban. Hey, Phyllis Slow. Armel, if I didn't say your name already. What it is? I saw Jay, the See, budgie gun buyer. Shanna asked a question. That's that's we're gonna have to find out. <laughs> that's, that's that's a big ordeal. That is. If my knees don't give out and my my calf don't lock up, I I think I'm good. I think. I hope so. Beat your husband. I hope so. He's he's but. getting. You can see a big difference, but your and it's changed. only been um, two weeks, but yeah. there's a, a big big difference. In yeah, his running. <clears throat> Sophia, what's up, young lady? Shani, what's up, Shani? How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Listen. So what I was saying, man, is is a dope thing. I guess a little late for us for him and which kind of triggered us to get involved a little bit hopefully more within the next few i don't know practices and races but it's getting erica out there on the track doing a lot of jogging and running and all that um man you know we talk about survival and and, and prepping and she hits the fan all the time stamina is a big part of it being able to keep up and that was always a worry for for me, like, will Al be able to keep up if something happens? Now I'm worried about me keeping up with them <laughs> if something happens. All the same, what up? We're gonna so, need, yo. we're gonna need one of those child leashes for Alex to no. keep up. Hey, Gina. So Gina. yeah, man. To be honest with you, that's a huge part of prepping, and that and that's prepping your physical. Don't get that COVID on yeah. me, man. <laughs> Damn. And let me get I some tissue. Chat, don't don't do that in private. Oh, it's over here. I'm not gonna blow my nose. I was so when I cough, I cough in it. Don't start. Corey, what up? They it's hey, Corey. these YouTube streets is probably quiet without us. Silverback, what it hey, is. Hey Joe Vi. Joe Vi, what up, scene. brother? Brother. Okay, so yo, man. listen, man. While I got some menses in here, while I got some menses, okay. do me a favor, y'all. Share with me. Jaded budget gun by. What up, brother, brother? Listen, oh. share this information with me about your lifestyle. Listen. Have you ever tried to fold your own clothes? Yes. But it's not fucking good enough? All the time. She snatched them shits up and tell you, you, no matter how it fits in the drawer, how you want it, she ain't got to go back in there for nothing. You the only one got to go in there. But it's never good enough. First thing first, you, you don't even put your clothes the right way for it to be even fitting in there. Who, me or That's him? number one. Hey, number I two... If you see unfolded clothes in that dresser, why not just take them out? Because it's too to... much work. And I know where everything is. 
You don't know yeah. where anything is, but we know where everything is. I just can't have my. Stuff. I can't fold my own shit. I can't even put my socks together. What? Jada Shooter Budget say he I do it wrong on purpose. I be acting like I want to help, but I know I'm gonna get yelled at, so I just be like. Shh. You just be sitting there watching. Yeah, Shannon. See, Shannon. Shannon, I be trying. I put him away though. Cause she'll fold that shit until it touches the ceiling and won't put the shit away. Right. So the problem ain't putting them away, it's folding the shit. She won't let me fold Mm-mm. at all. Mm-mm. She won't let me pair my socks. Now, if they're a black sock and a black sock, I'm good. She got to have the black sock. It gotta be bent to the left, bent to the right. That's a pair. Fuck that. Don't sit here. No, 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 no. It's all the say it's a black so sock. If it's a black sock with a white w and then a black sock with blue and red print on the bottom billy would match those two socks instead of just finding the right but it's all the logo same sock. to go with that they right both sock. going in the he same dirty the ass pair of boots anyways. fat guy with guns what up brother exactly. brother i'm just saying we've been gone for two weeks and now we're over here arguing about folding clothes welcome and back welcome to socks. back mm. It's what came out on his channel. Yeah, man. Thank you, see you, Sunshine. You understand. Yo, Skilly, stop flirting. What the fuck was that? Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rodney. Bless New, New York, York City. Take it easy. You missed that. I, was, I, was got, I told you not to open that door. Listen, I'm this is why I do this. Alex got a prop for everybody. There you for go. Everybody. Mix Mac socks all the time. That's how it rocks because you know what? Who sees that shit? Nobody. Look, Howard J. Socks have to match. Please match the socks. Look at who that's coming from, though. Howard J. Oh, the signed by my New York brother. By all socks the same. Mm. That's what I be trying to do. That's what I be trying to do. She'll still figure out there's a difference because when you wear it enough, it starts to angle to a certain direction. And she'll hold that motherfucker up and be like, no, they're the same. That they did fucking yes because of left you know and the right. Is. So please understand, you're supposed to switch out your socks every three to six months. I'll be broke. Billy has socks from high school, and I'd be like, let it go, let it go. Yep. When I get done with them, I when use they them start to clean the car. Stand, yeah, when they start standing up by themselves, <laughs> let it go. My feet don't stink. I didn't say it do, but after so much. <laughs> Wear and tear, I mean. Hmm. <laughs> Either way. Thank two, you, she is sunshine. Two dollar, what up, brother, What's the brother? one I need being an at-home wife? Let me do my job. That's what she is sunshine saying. You want to act home wife? Just let me do my job. You got it. <laughs> Erica, it's you. your world. <laughs> I, mean, so. I swear. You, if y'all look at Billy's work socks, they just stand up. They just stand up. Nah, nah. Boosie, what up? Hey, See, boosted. I know. That, that, yeah. You're right, Boosted. Them jokers. They good, man. Man, man leave me alone. <laughs> On another right, note, man, we had a cool, all the fellas out. We, we had a cool I just, weekend. Yeah. I just, I, we were, how the fuck we get to socks, man? I did say you, socks. You said socks. Either way, either way. Fold your own shit. Fan Fam, I hope you fold your own shit. Fan Fam. Fan Fam probably got somebody that do it for him. Oh, yeah, I got stuff robot. goes to the cleaners. Yeah, that shit is all Dumb on shit hangers. All pressed. They even got starch on it. I ain't playing with him. Either mm-hmm. way, either way, we had a cool weekend, man. We started off where Alex at the track. I almost died. Um, while he was at the track, I got to visit our original range, our our first gun range that we ever really went to five, six, seven years ago, whenever the hell it was. Um. So that was cool. And they revamped it. It looks just like Thomasville, y'all. Just like Thomasville. So that's dope. But the only good thing about it is it only costs us $15 a year to go shoot. Thumbs up to that. But uh, but yeah, man, we had a good time. Uh, I went to, yo, listen, I oh my God. As a content creator, it was a horrible day. Because when I was pressing record on my phone, my phone decided to stop recording. So my bad on not checking that so i would have had a nice couple of videos but i might be able to squeeze out one maybe we'll see that's because 
your wife say we can go on Sunday. I wasn't driving back up there on Sunday. It's like an hour away from the house, y'all. I, it wasn't your wife happen. said we can just go on Sunday. It wasn't gonna happen. You, you right. Why, Either way, why use up gas like that? Track meet was dope. Um, Alex, Alex did well. He ran two miles in 20, 20 minutes, minutes and 38 seconds for his first meet. That was dope too. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, my eyes wasn't working. I was, I, I don't know. I was just, I was rushing to get back to the track meet. That's what, cause I had dropped them off at the track meet, then went to the range was like 12 minutes away and then try to get back before he started his race at 10 30 or 10 15 or something like that. What are you looking at? I'm looking at you tell this story. I'm still mad you didn't take me to the range. I know. And Alice is like, can we go to the range? I'm like, bro, you got to ride the bus back with the people, with the, with the team. I don't. Team Spirit. You, you could have took me. Team Spirit. You could have took me. But yeah. We're going to talk about that later. Let's get yeah. to the topic. Yo, hi, everybody. Wait, wait, wait. I got a couple things I'm going to talk about first. Let's I go. Do. I'm sorry. Um, it's early. I'm a, you know what? I don't often put things in the chat, but I'm going to post something in the chat and I want y'all to go check it out, um, especially anybody who has a Prodigy or um, some type of 2011 platform. Um, there's a company is MJD Solutions, makes dope ass grips. And I just want to try to bring some awareness if, for people who possibly don't uh, know or aren't aware of whatever I told them I shoot, I shout them out on the live so anybody out there that that is looking to upgrade the uh prodigy or their um staccato or atlas or whatever fam fam joseph harris what up what up um this dude makes some dope ass grips i'm gonna try to go ahead and drop it in the in the chat as soon as i can find my own channel on youtube did and you i'll stick it in there link? for you i did copy the link okay. so uh <clears throat> let me see if i can are you on instagram no i'm oh. on uh, youtube okay so um so either way man he he got a new grip out called the villain grip um it's dope it, it, all of it is dope though he got some artistic shit so uh shout out to him mjd solutions check him out on instagram as soon as my internet catches up i'll be able to drop the link in the chat and uh y'all can check him out too so definitely dope stuff um aside from that oh i moved my garden guys she oh, did shit. It's way better because I now I can walk I extended where I my walk. garden. I'm excited about extending my garden, Jason. Um, and I can't you. wait. I cannot wait. She did. She I gotta sure turn did. over soil once I have a little bit more energy. Yo, it was a process, y'all. It was a process. <laughs> Moving a garden. It's not as easy as you guys. As you don't just think. pick the stuff out and be like, ah, plant it there. You got to move the dirt, like the baskets or what do you call them? The damn piles, raised beds and shit like that. Oh, uh, yeah, right. that was a lot of sweat and tears. So, but we knocked it out. Almost done. I'd say like 70 percent done. Yeah. Something yeah, like yeah. that. So hopefully you have a good harvest by the time this that's all uh, yeah, said and done. Because I got to <laughs> drop my um like greens. I'm gonna do some greens, yeah, and some more beans and stuff like that. Jason, you're all good, bro. Work, work, work. You know how it is. I do. I am so hot. Like, is it anybody is. else sweating? Yeah, I'll turn the AC on if you if you like. Like, she's I'm drinking. Over here. She's drinking. That's why. <laughs> like, God, sorry. Let me know if it gets too loud, y'all. Either way, man. Yeah, we had a dope Sunday. We cut down a bunch of trees. Um, we moved the garden. It was cool, you know regular regular sunday um mm -hmm. but as this morning coming in man i just want to actually um you know pray our hands together for everybody over there in cali especially la um fam fam is out there and they just went through a hell of a different type of weather um earthquake and a hurricane during the same weekend and i'm sure that shit is not easy for uh for a lot of folks imagine. So yeah, yeah. Because this hands was together their for them first that, hurricane in years. Yeah, it doesn't rain in Southern California. I heard what? It's, yeah, it's it been years since they had a hurricane. California. So. So yeah, man. Listen, it really doesn't happen um, 
much there and they're you know preparing themselves is is difficult to even know what to do how you're going through it blah 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 so shout out to them for getting through and and surviving it and it's supposed to be like fucking beautiful out tomorrow over there so hopefully it is hopefully everybody's power gets cut back on uh sooner than later and uh and we have a, and erica was just saying like we had a really mellow hurricane season yeah and uh yeah it's not over <laughs> it's not sure over that's but um that's right fan fam let that rain know who's boss let it know um but either way yeah yeah man howard j yeah and M- mjd got some dope shit over there y'all check them out hey howard yeah man and prepare yourself please do we got a lot of updates a lot of news but probably the most important news for the meetup um a regular meetup arm 4 2024 we're going to be dropping the location and the date i think if i'm right this friday on a regular gun guys channel Ooh. during the live mm-hmm. and then the week following ticket sales will go live so you'll be able to do uh grab your ticket sales uh, grab your tickets and your hotel information and hopefully this year the way we did it we have enough space for everybody in a single hotel unless you just don't want to if you find a better deal you got a different reason why you want to stay in a different hotel all good but we should be able to max out and shut it down like we do two ways said if they serve and bread the lobster he ain't, he ain't chilling with us oh they gotta, they gotta be serving lobster that's how it goes no scrimps cgc's what's hey, up hey, young girl Siege. Siege, i was gonna text you today it's good to see I mean, i'm gonna have you. to text you later just so i can see how you're doing how are you doing this oh skilly already let everybody know you're I, right yeah he said it was going to be on a cruise line in january in january <laughs> weisenberg germany hey keep guessing man but we are literally a few days away from actually knowing so that's dope that's dope am i right with the dates what's today's four days four days today's monday friday four Four days y'all four days four days and i don't even know where it is no not yet crap yeah yeah, yeah, he Alex don't even. Alex know. be the last person. Y'all don't even know where it is. So, so, oh and the only show. reason I, I, Erica knows, because well, uh, I didn't say I Erica knew. knows, but I didn't tell her. I just let me say that shit at all. Mm-mm. Wasn't me. It wasn't him. But it wasn't me. <laughs> she knows some insiders and shit. But either way, man. <laughs> Listen, they didn't kick me off the committee yet, too, eh? They kicked me off the committee yet. She all known by a string, bro. Because after today, I think I almost got my ass kicked off. Mm. Man. Either way, um, I guess we go ahead and get to this topic. Oh, shout out to uh <clears throat> shout out to Miss Richardson. Um uh Team USA, man. She just uh got the world title, hundred uh meter dash. She she uh I don't know she had a rough go during the Olympics a few years ago for that marijuana oh, in her, I in her keep blood system or whatever. Year. Yeah. And um, yeah, shout out to her, man, for like that, that dope ass performance. Um, you know, black excellence is, is, is seeing that through her, like that, that push to not stop, to not get knocked down. That shit is dope. Right. That shit is dope to me. Shit. Now I got to go back to work, get out tomorrow. She's I'm fast. Push, oh my I'm god. She's fast. Either way, <clears throat> shout out to her. Let's get into it. So tonight we want to talk about um home security. Um now that covers a lot of corners. Let's so let's say. And I just want to do better at what we're doing. So like we do every week or at least the weeks that we're here, we slacking. <laughs> Like we do every week, we try to open the platform for everybody to have, uh, you know, a part to say, some knowledge to share, some knowledge to gain, because we're here to learn 
ourselves mm-hmm. and figure out where the hell we're going wrong in, in certain things in life and try to get some um, some community, uh, uh, I don't know, lessons so we can get our shit together. So today we're talking about home security. And a lot of us live in different environments that would kind of dictate the type of security you might need or you can have around your home. <clears throat> so just wanted to go over a little couple things to see, you know, what's easy, what's accessible, what's free, what's uh, easy to maintain, if that's, you know, if that makes sense or whatever. So now a lot of people think immediately on the top of that list, you got um, home security camera systems, camera systems and firearms. You know, that's kind of like the two, oh yeah, I got a camera system, I got a firearm. But what, what more is there as deterrence? What more is there as um, making it tougher for any individual to um to you know make entry or to see Uh, your shit as a weak spot i want to say this also because the last couple of days and i know a lot of kids are starting school soon or next month to where ours you know already started but making sure your kids close the front door when leaving the house folks there's plenty of mornings where I can, I thought I was closed the door all the way, but it's not closed all the way. And I'm the you only one. I knew that, right? It's because I don't know if you took out my bomb crystal and I didn't, I, I don't know if you took out coffee. Oh, so you're thinking I'm in the backyard, so you don't close it all. No, the way. I'm, I know that you're in your room. I don't know if you took out my bomb crystal or coffee. I don't know if you took those out. <clears throat> I hear what you're oh, saying, but, okay. but you got to close that door each time. Um, because if she didn't have plans to, or even if she did let them out and they hit that door, they can pop it open. And if there's some children walking by, right, we can have a, a bad situation. So either way, your kids now, uh, you know, teenagers or, or elementary school and they're out of the house, going to the bus stop or something like that. Um, you know, watch them down the road, but make sure that that door gets closed or locked right behind it right um <clears throat> clear pathways and good lighting so clear pathways um it's important if you have a camera system and you're familiar with how each camera you know like we have eight seven or eight and eight. and you are you familiar with all the normal things in the pathway if you have a sidewalk or something like that and then you notice there's something there that shouldn't be a shadow even you'd be like well fuck that ain't supposed to be there i you know i had a clear pathway uh, um so being able to recognize quickly almost like reading the book recognize the the shadow patterns in your pathways yeah. which is hella hella dope um it sounds really you know intricate but it's not it's very very simple um a fence yeah fence is a deterrent one thing that we really like we don't have a fence around our home but um most of our blind spot areas have very rough shrubs under those windows i mean like you don't want to touch this yeah shit. they hurt yeah yeah even cutting them i'm like i gotta lay like a tarp over it in order for me to cut it um that's super super uh cheap easy to deal with you don't even have to maintain it especially in the back of the house um you want it almost to be as unattractive and as spiky as possible um we do have some weak spots though we do i think we just cleared like i said i was cutting down some trees uh some clearing some areas or whatever and after i got finished i sat and said i just made this shit super accessible one of my windows Right here, the one I'm sitting next to. Super accessible. And we have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, window AC units, which could be kicked in just, you know, we'll, if we're home during this, I'm going to be able to respond quickly, 
she'll be able to respond quickly but who the fuck wants to go through that right so we are going to have to do something to uh to to x out that that weakness you know these these window units because we have one two three four five five accessible window units maybe not they're all not accessible but they could be you know uh real deal what's going on uh hey, virginia bush what the yellow. word be roadblock what the hey, word Rob is Virginia Bushcrafter. Bush Bush crafter. Sorry. Damn, I just spit it all over. Did you? Oh, yeah, you sorry. nasty. You need some. Um, um, but yeah, yo. So that's the thing, Zach. I, I don't keep them. I don't keep the bushes on the rear of the house trimmed at all because they block access to those windows. Yeah. Um, now, in an emergency, getting out, eh, it's going to hurt. But getting in hopefully they don't want to because mm -hmm. one stick of them bushes and you're fucked it's like thorns you know um let me make sure nobody else said nothing Somebody a clear pathway is rehab <laughs> alarm in signage so fan fam now here's a here's a funny thing now I, I, i'm gonna re revert revert back to a conversation i had a long time ago where people thought signage was a bad idea now i think signage is a deterrent that's saying that this house is well equipped and armed you're not going to get too far and you're limited on time when you do try to break into my home and some people said no man that's letting people know you got something valuable in there a petty home robbery to me is not looking for the the diamond stash you know they're looking for the flat screen tv maybe i don't know a fucking laying around pocketbook or something like that um so i prefer signage myself we do have it on our um glass door, our glass door. like we have two front doors yeah. which is also dope and i'm gonna, I'm gonna say something don't let me forget about those doors but i do have a security sticker on that door um i think signage is a good deterrent i mean if you're your flashy home and you got a flat a flashy vehicle in the uh, driveway people might not listen to you know these signs because they're going to know that something expensive might be laying around your home but me personally i i don't have too much grabby stuff like my firearms is probably some of the best stuff that you could get within my house and um i really i would rather have signage there than not for me personally but um but yeah man otherwise let me get to that door thing now this conversation reminds me of something that uh i had a, a talk with hot tub tony a long time ago and hot tub tony every time he gets in the live and he goes outside you hear that door just creaking creak creak and a lot of people are like god damn like change your fucking springs or oil that shit don't do nothing leave it alone my door my front door i built the uh the door frame myself and i built it so tight that it makes a noise every time the door closes it rubs on the wood and it's loud it don't matter if it's winter or summer or nothing it does it every single time every single time it seems embarrassing if you have company or friends over or something like that but you don't realize how much of an alarm that is that every time that door opens it's just like that little jingle where it says front door that shit is loud. for one i'm gonna hear it and for two if somebody comes through my door they're gonna realize they are no longer being quiet so yeah. unless it was one of those kicking situations that might scare somebody away you know a loud noise like that and I think that would make it hard for everybody to kick in the door also. Because even trying oh, yeah. to pull that shit open. You have to you gotta use your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> I have to legit football spear that thing to get it open. Pimp, what up? Hey the pimp. Truth and integrity, what's popping? What's popping? Hey, so yeah, so listen, the the more difficult for it is for, for even for you to get through your door, um the better. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Um there's other little things here and there. Um, I see uh, who said it. Somebody got dogs. 
Y'all know how I feel about dogs. Now, my dog, my my Philly animals, slow. Philly slope. So my dogs are not my first line. Uh, they're usually my first. Uh, I don't know alarm. Usually, they are. They, they sometimes they, like as a human does. They bark, and before you know it, we're like, "Yo, shut up, shut up," even though they might be warning us uh, us of uh, something dangerous or whatever. But I disagree because I'm, I mean I check mostly every time. Yeah, but it's either a cat, a cat, or something that is still they still letting us know there's something in the area that's not supposed to be here. But Air, if it's airplane, if, what up? But you can airplane. tell what time it is with our dogs as well. Like if it's seven o'clock in the morning, they're definitely barking to go outside to use the bathroom and get some water. And then again at five o'clock. Now the puppies on the other hand, they bark all day. They bark at everything. They bark at the cars going by. So with them, I do ignore their barks because they don't know better yet. Where the big ones will let me know just as well. Billy came home early today and they was going crazy. Like coffee the female dog is running back and forth and that's how i knew it was billy because if it was anybody else she'll still um she'll stand by the front door and just bark through that damn door like she's actually doing something but if she hears billy's truck she's just excited where she just runs up and down the hallway like a mad person and the other dogs would just bark you know out of excitement so i know they're different barks compared to billy and alex because i'm home with them all the time mm -hmm. Well, and they got like I, I preach all the time dogs have a language yeah they have a language and, and once you get to know your dog you understand the different heights you know playful shit aggression shit uh uh curiosity shit right. uh afraid dogs get afraid of certain things you know uh, a fear fearful barks um territorial shit so either way dogs are great if you can get one in your life if you can take care of one um usually i mean it's good to have a dog that couldn't could manage but the small ones are great too and they are absolutely um alarms you know right. so that's also dope um the motion sensors motion lights um those are amazing uh deterrents and oftentimes those those lighting systems can be uh I don't want to say updated, upgraded or whatever, but like ring, like your motion lights often have cameras now. So when that light goes on, you get an alert on your phone or your email or whatever the fuck. And you'll have now video of why that motion light is going off, right. which is, you know, to me, that that's, that's hella dope. Um, we have a, we have three different systems, like three electronic systems. So we have the regular cameras that are like perimeter cameras. Then we have one interior camera, and then we have the ring right. system. And the ring system, I mean, is great not only for you know uh, security to the house, but you also have a community system that you can communicate with uh, other homes in the area. So if something does happen, um, you're going to be aware of it even if it doesn't happen to your home it could be you know two blocks away and somebody might report something and it'll show up on your ring uh community tabs or whatever right resilient dad what up brother from the bay i hope you're all right out there man i hope you're good <clears throat> but um so we have closed circuit uh tele um closed circuit cameras wi-fi cameras um is we have one no we have two we have the ring and the and the uh piper, piper. and those ones give me the most problems mm -hmm. because out here in the country the wi-fi goes in and out and it gets Boy, real you know it gets real funny so um if i could have all closed circuit would be dope but the ring um uh, is the one i rely on the most but if our electricity goes out that's it for the ring I mean, so still, still dealing with that, <clears throat> trying to figure out what's the best way to go. Nest, a lot of people like that Nest system, um, which I'd love to check into when we renovate this whole house one day, make it a kind of smart house. Hey, Skilly, what up, brother? I don't know if I 
What's going on, fam? Yo, I wanted to talk to you about something too. About what? So I know, I know that you have um an issue with, with your, your neighbor's dog, right? Uh, we're not allowed to talk about no, that. No, no, we're gonna talk about it. <laughs> no, for real, on some real shit. And and, right, and anybody that goes through this shit uh, all the same, and I know you got fears about your family, but that dog, the way he barks at you. If that dog goes barking and you know your entire family's in the house, that dog sees something that you need to see. Absolutely. That dog, that dog will protect you and protect your property just the same. So I know it's a gift and a curse, but there's some benefit to a neighbor's dog, you know, barking every time and sees something going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, it don't bother me, but I mean, like like you say, when I hear them bark, I know something going on around my house, whether it's the, their next door neighbor or my next door neighbor's next to me so you know it's a benefit i mean i don't look at it all bad at all. yeah yeah but yeah man it, tell me tell me now in your in your um thoughts is there anywhere that you're looking to upgrade or you feel like you could do better in your home security absolutely you can always learn from others um my homeboy he has the flood ring uh light and camera on his back the motion, the motion yeah. joint yeah so i'm thinking about throwing that because where i'm at i don't have too much lighting out where i'm at so you know when i go home at 1 30 in the morning it's it's pretty dark on my street yeah yeah so i'm i got be it. in the hood man i know you in the, i know you eight mile in so yeah i mean in that way yeah for as far as my back when my wife or somebody pull in i do want to light my backyard up true that true that real deal what up brother what's up, real deal what's up? what's up so i'm a complete opposite man and I, and I know it has a lot to do where i live right different different areas where you live you guys do different things yeah yeah i don't lock my front door i don't i don't leave lights on i don't do nothing if you you, you come in my house you, you're gonna win door prize. You got God, God be with you. That's right. You know, I'm not worried about going through the walls. I'm not worried about going through the metal door. I ain't worried about none of that stuff. Now I do have plans. I do have plans if uh, the worst scenario ever happened and poop hits the fan, then I got some things I'm gonna do around the house. A little but tired, until then, yeah. everyday living, I ain't I ain't doing nothing. A little more relaxed. Hey, resilient dad, uh, fan fam is up in here. He's doing all right. He's doing good. So, um, we think about different things that, you know, could be better, could be, you know, I don't know, a, a, a little less primitive, a little more, uh, uh, technology based, you know, but like you said, every area has its, its pluses and negatives and whatever. So we struggle a lot with getting internet connection and all that um there are some uh some simple shit and this more like home defense not necessarily security but i would be securing myself per se but we have a lot of weapons available within the home mm -hmm. if that makes sense and um so it's funny though we i think as a family need to rehearse a little more. Now, everybody's aware of where the firearms are, but I don't think the other weapons um, are, like we remember where the fuck we put them. Oh no, I remember where any any of my knives are. Guaranteed, not me. I'm just saying, I don't want to get into a knife fight, but I got a couple of like crowbars and shit like that. Now, you know those, those Two ton jacks and the, and the jack thing, you you know, you, the hand you get the hand yeah. I used to keep that right next to the bed. Now, this is uh one of the bedrooms in front of me, and that used to be our master bedroom, and then we moved to one of the back rooms or whatever. And after I stopped being in that room so much, I forgot where I put everything. So I go looking to actually use the fucking jack the other day doing work on the car. And I, I'm like, babe, remember that fucking bar I used to keep next to the bed? It's like a shit still. I'm like, I can't find this shit for nothing. Now, if I was still in that room and something did happen, that would have been my first go-to aside from the weapon on my nightstand. You know what I'm saying? And I had no fucking clue where it was. Shame on me on that one. 
Why would that be your first weapon, Billy, compared to a, a well, would you put your firearm on you as well as grab the crowbar? Let me ask that. Yeah, no, well, I wouldn't put, yeah, I would carry it. Okay. But, you know, in the middle of the night type thing, um, my firearm is always on my nightstand. Magazine out, cleared, uh, uh, cleared chamber. Sitting right next to each other, easy to, you know, manipulate and put together. But that crowbar was always like my go-to. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll have them both in my hands, but I'd rather beat the shit out of somebody than have to shoot somebody. Gotcha. Just me. That's me. Gotcha. Now, what I did is, so, you know, I live out in the country, right? And I get some wicked storms. I got tree branches that fall. I got old trees. I got trees that fall over. Now, what I do do is I have a hill. I have a hill in my yard where it be easy access. So when I get a tree that falls down and branches, I'm building a stick wall. It, mm. is, it, is it proof? No, but if somebody tries to climb over it, it's going to be very difficult for them. And I'm going to see them try to, you know what I'm saying? I might make yeah. it an easy, clear passage for them. So I do stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And, and you know what? Another thing is, Jova, I don't know what a TTP is, but I hear what you're saying because that leads me to another situation. Now we're home, safe now and, and, and tucked in. But I heard Erica on a live, I don't know, a week or so ago, was telling everybody we were going to Virginia. And in my head, I was like, yo, shut up. <laughs> but that's another part of home safety or home security. Where are social media creators or content creators or whatever? And half of the world knows what the fuck we're doing at any given time. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's 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 tough often to let people know the moves you're making and shit like right. that. You know what I'm saying? Just part of your gray man theory. I mean, it should be part of most gray man theory, but I'm not always a gray man. So either way, sometimes we get so excited about what we got going on that maybe we share too much information. That's true. I agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Skilly. You at work right now. Real deal, you at work right now. Yep. And the world knows it. Well, 47 people know it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, all it takes is, you know, a person to say, I, I know his real name because it's on Instagram or something. Ticket, 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 ticket. Yep. Address, boom. You know what I'm saying? So we got to be careful about the shit that yep. we put out in front of people. You know, I'm just gonna say this. My wife has her own AR and she knows how to use it. So. I heard she was a gangster too. <laughs> That's right. I've seen her rip a head off a chicken before. I don't want to bust into that <laughs> fucking house. I'll yeah. tell you a story. When I was a kid, uh, we had Doberman Pincher, and his name was Satan. My mom, it was my mom's dog. Why y'all name Satan? Hold on. Let's just stop right there. Why why Satan? I don't know. You gotta ask my mother. Oh, okay. Well, keep on go ahead. I'm sorry, I ain't mean to interrupt you, but that. That's all right. And uh, my uh, my mom was reading the newspaper one day, and there was an ad in the paper for a dog for sale. And it freaked her out because she didn't. We didn't put the ad in the paper. Oh, so uh, she freaked her out because she thought somebody was going to try to break in. Somebody was trying to, you know, what I'm saying, trying to get rid of a dog and break it in. So her and my dad took uh, different nights where they stayed up in the kitchen, like they had a gun, and you know they were waiting to see, see anybody come in. Found out that it was our next door neighbor who hated our dog was trying to sell it. Oh, oh savage! Oh, <laughs> messed up. Jova, what's, what's poppin'? Airplane. Hey, what's up, Billy? Hey, thanks for having me. And I just want to say, uh, uh, hey, what's up, Gilly? Real deal. What up, just want to say one thing, right? So when it comes to your social media presence, we kill ourselves with how much information we give away because a motivated individual can build the profile on you in about a week, right? Um, I'm sure we've all seen a lot of the uh, home invasions or robberies that happen, like to the Real Housewives of Atlantic. They're always posting stuff and everything else. And uh, the social media influences that's getting robbed, the Hollywood stars that's out there is getting robbed and everything else. Um, theoretically, if you're halfway motivated, in about two weeks, you can build a good profile and pattern of life on someone just by what they post and they share. I'm going to say this. I got to jump They off. do it innocently enough, right? Because 
Um, I, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to use Bill. Uh, you go ahead, Riddell. Oh, it must be a delay. I'm going to um, say this. I'm, I'm going to say this, Billy. Go ahead. No, go ahead. If you have to jump off, because <laughs> I, I got about five minutes. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this. And I, I jump off. My boss is supposed to come over here. Remember, a lock, only thing a lock is for is to keep an honest man honest. Because a bad guy doesn't care about a lock. He's going to pop that and he's going he's gonna to try to get what he wants, no matter what. What you do. Yeah. I hear that. So, I'll, I got to do some stuff and maybe I'll jump in later on. All right, real deal. Hey, Billy, do you, do you, do right, you right, mind right. if I use, take it, uh, Billy, do you mind if I use you and your family as an example, just real quick? Yeah, go ahead, man, because well, I'm here to learn, bro. I, 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 can, I can show you how a workup's done, right? So you got you got a relative successful channel and you post a lot of stuff, right? You post pictures mm. of Alex. Um, you post pictures going to the range. You post pictures uh, about where you're at and everything else, where you live and all the good stuff, right? So it's just public school somewhere in the area of Thomasville, Georgia, right? Alex is very unique in that he has dreads, right? So I, I can pick him up just in that vicinity. I can follow him, his pattern of life. I know you also have firearms in your house because of, you know, you shoot and you say and everything else. I know you have dogs. I know you have video cameras. So when I come to break into your house, I'm going to be prepared and bring that kit. I got two options. I can go in hard right there, or I can go in soft without you guys there and, and the dogs. When I come in, I'm going to be prepared in uh, electronic countermeasures, i.e. I'm going to jam your Wi-Fi signals. You can buy those at the store, Radio Shack, Wally World. I'm going to jam your Wi-Fi signals. I'm going to shut down your cell phone signals. You can buy those too. They're legal to operate, right? But, you know, I mean, what's a little bit of like illegality amongst friends? I'm going to disarm your cameras. I'm going to hit your, your, your analog cameras either with an IR or a high-intensity flashlight just to get a white out and a wash out. Your dogs, I hate to say this, some people are going to get mad. I'm just going to put them down, right? If they pose a threat, I'm going to put them down. Then I'm going to go through your house. Now, if I want to do something a little bit more nefarious, I know your pattern of life of when you go to work, how you go to work, and everything else, right? I know that certain people go out running and do this and do that, right? So I can... I can develop a pattern of life on you and I can do an intercept on you either at the gas station while you're getting your ice cream or I can intercept Alex at the top or whatever, right? And it can go real smooth or it can just be a straight takedown, right? Just as a, a, a snatch and grab. So the stuff that we put out there, you know, it's just like, hey, I'm going live. I'm out here. I'm, I'm driving to, you know, bumfuck Egypt and everything else, right? If I'm tracking you, you just gave me a point, time, and location to an intercept. She crooks ain't that fucking sophisticated. She ain't got to worry about that. Stuff that we talk about, like what I got next to my nightstand and everything else, that gives me those planning ideas and everything else. We start working with that profile, how to best get into your house, right? Also, with your layers of security, if you got shrubs and bushes, they're great to prevent people from getting into the windows, but you got to cut them back. So like they're kind of angled. So as you're looking at your house from them, you can't see a lot, but as you're looking from the house out to the street, you got a wider field of vision. And sometimes it's hard to, to, to visualize all of your trends in your dead spaces. You got to make sure you have those covered, right? Um, be a hard target, show those deterrents, right? Because, a criminal and a thief is looking for an easy target. They don't want nothing that's going to fight back or resist, right? If I want to snatch a pocketbook, I'm not snatching a pocketbook of some someone that's fit, right? I'm not snatching a drag queen's pocketbook. But that's a right back, right? I'm, I'm snatching the pocketbook of a frail lady, right? There's predators and prey. When, when we start doing this and we talk about the ranges we go to and everything else, so like I'm not going to intercept you coming coming from the range, right? Probably like the best time I'm going to get you is when I know you go to the range every, I don't know, make up a day, every fucking eighth Wednesday of the month, 
So I know you're going to be out of the house. I know your range sessions usually last an hour. So it takes you 45 minutes to get to the range, set up, shoot, and come back. That gives me a working window, right? You can build these profiles like really, really fucking easy and they're really, really simple to do. We all have patterns of life. Hey, that, Rob, Roblox, Rob, Roblox said you're scaring the fuck out of everybody. <laughs> oh, my bad, <laughs> man. What? Damn, man. <laughs> You're talking I'm about security, man. Yeah, my I'm bad. Playing. No, I'm I out. <laughs> no. What? But just, just think That's about that. Think scary. think about varying your patterns of life, right? And and, and and you're doing that. You'll be surprised that start watching a significant other or start watching someone else. And you can kind of get good at it and predict where someone's going to be on Wednesday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You can get close, right? We're, we're creatures of habit, you know? Mm -hmm. Airplane, what you think, brother? Um, it's just stuff like that, you know. I, have something that makes noise. I I think that um, I think Joe, I I was a little dark, man, but <laughs> you 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 right though. You exactly right. Like you do have to, uh, you, you got to watch your patterns, man. And I, I'm dealing with a situation right now. Someone just uh, someone just stole my truck. You know what I'm saying? Or, Damn. Uh, a truck that I took a lot of pride in. I put a lot of money into. Wait, the one uh, that you drove down to Georgia? No, 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 no. Oh, no. I, I, I should have nice. drove it to Georgia. I should have. But no, I had a Dodge Ram. It was uh, similar to Yoki's. Not as new, but lifted. Uh, big burgundy Dodge Ram 1500. Because I put a lot of work into it. And the way it happened, I always, I'm in Detroit, where they steal a lot of these Dodge cars and, and anything Chrysler makes. Oh, still. Airplane, you in my neck in the neighborhood, man. I'm in Michigan. Oh, yeah, we, Skilly, we neighbors, bro. I should have been holiday. Real block, you, you silly, yeah. man. Skilly, yeah. Skilly, I'm 8 Mile, you know that. <laughs> I said 8 Mile, fool. <laughs> hey, but I am off 8 Mile while you playing. <laughs> no, it, I, I'm 6 Mile, though. I'm from 6 Mile. But, uh, no, yeah, so I, the way I feel, I think that somebody, uh, kind of was watching me because they came and stole my my car from work and i oh, always thought if it would be an attempt made it would be at my house so i kind of was at home prepared for that situation even at work too i frequently go out and check and it just so happens that one day i wasn't on top of it came out to an empty parking space which happens at my job very frequently this is actually the third time my car got stole from my job yeah. Damn, you quit that damn job. Shit. <laughs> hey, on, somebody man. you know? Hey, Billy, can I just that real quick? If you ask me, I, I do have a well, suspicion. I, you know, I, I wouldn't say I know them, but I, I, for us to have such a tight security where I work, it's hard to believe this keeps happening where I work the way it does. Mm -hmm. And where I work, you can look up on the internet. They, they, uh, I, I work the same place as, uh, as, as, um, Howard J does. They, there, there is recording of dudes in parking lot. <laughs> 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 but, but they got recordings of, of dudes running in the parking lots and these TRX trucks and stuff from the police. They don't, they don't care. They're not, they're not worried about no security or if they decide they want it, they're going to come and try and get it. Yeah. Can, can, I address, can I address on that Roblox set? And Roblox, you're right. A lot of these guys don't have military training or whatever. But they are organized and they are coming in three, four, five deep. Where before growing up, it used to be the crackhead climbing through the window. Right. right. Yep. Now these guys are coming in um, deep. Five, six. I've seen a couple of videos, um, it's either Chicago or Detroit, where they're actually doing rolling roadblocks, uh, actually rolling takedowns when they're carjacking people. And they're, and they're coming in. It's like, oh, that's it's a pretty good fucking rolling takedown. Like, like, it was, it was fucking good. They're practicing this yeah. shit. You know, Vic, who came in, cut it off just in front, and, and they got out, presented weapons, and started shooting. I like, that's that that was some good. Damn. He, he, he's exactly right, though. I didn't do that. <laughs> yeah, Detroit. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Do that. One of the worst ones. Home invasions is very army. They didn't got so bold with their home invasions here in Michigan, man. It's very in the city because they, they don't care if you're, not, if you're home or not here they'll come in your home while you're a lot of them don't fear if you're in the house or not they like you said a lot of time it's not one person it's a gang so they're not really too worried about 
your firearms sometimes yeah. is they know they pretty much got you outnumbered if they do their homework the right and, way. Yeah, and, re and remember, right, even even the U.S. military police force, everything, everyone responds in overwhelming force and violence of action. That's what's going to get you through this. It's about the violence of action, right? And you have to be committed because it can be it can be five guys. If they're not committed to that violence of action, they're going to lose, right? And if you go in there really, really fast and you hit them before they know what's up, and, and, and now even there's there's been cases where their TTPs or their techniques are they're they're throwing people in zip ties, right? They're they're bagging people by putting putting hoods over their heads. They're showing up as a police. They're showing up doing push-ins. One of my favorite ones is show up as a utility worker to check a gas meter, do something. No one pays attention to those guys. And you go into your house with your groceries. Next thing you know, they're pushing you in and everything else. And then that shit's over just like that, man. Um, so, yeah, you're right. They're not black ops dudes, but they're they're getting that training and that practice and they're refining their techniques. They're watching hey, Joe, Bi Joe Bi you had you had them dudes sounding like they was jumping out of uh, Black Hawk helicopters and <laughs> shimmying down. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. I, I sent you some videos. I sent you some videos. I love this. Hey, guys. Hey, thanks for having me on. I got a blaze, man. All right, Jovan. All right, man. Thank you. All right, bro. Be safe. Damn. I didn't know you smoked. Jovan, camera turned dark. Like, nighttime happened like that. It was daytime when he started talking. We'll take money. Max, where the hell did you just came from? I was having a heat flash, so I had to jump in. Roadblock, what's up, man? What's good? What's good? What's good, everybody? Hey, what's Roadblock. Block? Hi, Erica. Hey, hey, Erica. What's going on, Erica? Hey, hey, look, look, wait, wait, what's wait, up, wait, 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 wait. I don't know what's if y'all see. Baby? What's up, airplane? Airplane looking sad as hell. <laughs> hey, somebody stole his damn truck. Hey, hey, hey did you have gap? You have gap insurance, airplane? Yeah, you have gap. I, I, it was already paid for. Damn. What are you saying? Hey man, tell them to burn that bitch just when they just hope they burn it and get you another truck, man. Hey, what's crazy, man? Hey, that's the this like I said, they stole my truck twice. I got an old school before too that was stolen, the 86 442 Cutlass. I found that. I I, was I, I I walked up no, I found I seen a dude driving it down the street. I walked up on him was like, What are you doing in my car? And he told me he just bought it off somebody for four thousand dollars. I said, "Now where do you think you gonna get this?" He's like, "That's a crackhead told him that." And a crackhead. That's what I told him. I said, "Where do you think you gonna get this car legally for four thousand dollars, bro?" And we we figured it out right. You know, I had to call the you know the folks to come figure it out. But I got that one back. I found the other the Tahoe they stole. I found that before. They usually just take it to I don't know if they joyride or just want something out of it. But usually I find them intact. But uh, I don't know about this one. This this was this, this that truck was kind of nice. I don't know if that one. And I don't even be rolling them back after they take them and stuff like that either. Yeah, man. You don't want them to turn to an F tag, man. Jump back up in there. Man, might might be a security at your job. You got tight security like that over some that, that, that's, that's that's my suspicion right there, Zach. Real yeah, talk. Yeah, let it be. That's my suspicion. Let it be. Tech money. What up? Tech money. So, uh, so to, to get on with 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 what Joe what Jova said, so like yes, I'm not disputing that in some cases that that happens, where you got people that will shut down your power grid, they will do all that stuff. That, but you gotta have something in your house that they know you got like of high value, like some organized crime type shit. But we talking Yo. about like like the what. I'm gonna just say something real quick to my brother OJ. Uh, let me know if you could pop in um, to share a story or, or, or something. I, I, my, my brother's house is set up real nice. I just want to see if he's not busy. Uh, I'm gonna throw the link out there just in case. I know if you is, don't worry about it. Go ahead, Roblox. So, so like um, a lot of the videos, like a lot of the videos that I use, I get from Active Self Protection, um, and you see like they have numbers. These younger dudes, they got numbers and they come in in force, right? Uh, a lot of apartment buildings, like I tell people all the time, like a lot of the ladies that take my class, if you have, you stay in an apartment, take those little ass screws out your um yep. your door jam, take them little ass screws out, and then put longer screws yeah, in three them, them, and them three and a half, them three and a half four inch joints. It, right. It'd be harder for them to kick a door in or something like that. 
I tell my the, the folks that got houses, put a security door on there. Don't just have a front door and and then outside. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Have a security door. You know how a security do- a door is a deterrent by itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So the the funny thing is, my house has two. Do- you know, has that in the front. You have a glass door, and then a yeah. foot and a half later, you have the regular right. door. And then my back door, you got to go through three doors to get in the house. Mm. So that is definitely a deterrent. And then after the second part of them three doors in the back, you're going to run into two uh, two dogs. Mm-hmm. So so that, that thing, like I said, and as creaky and as loud as them doors could be, let it be. Don't fix that shit. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree completely. Yeah. You notice know you know the sounds your house make. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know know the sounds your house make. That third step on the stairs that always creak. Let it creak. Let it creak. I, I, I tell people all the time, I forget the name of the movie, but it was made in Detroit. It was the, uh, the old blind man. And the people ended up in his house as soon as he oh, that floor, uh, man, I know you're talking I'm about. Like, I know like you're talking about my house. Yeah, I'm like that dude. You 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 can't make a noise in here, and I don't know where it's from in this house. Don't make it. What's it called? Don't make a sound. Uh, yeah. oh, that's it. Don't make yeah. a sound. Yeah. yeah, don't make a sound. That's yep. me at night time. Steve so says, um, "Carry your firearm on you at home." I know Zach does that. All I do that also. All the time. I do that also. Eric, in fact, because I be cutting the grass with she, she, her. Who is her? Her, her over there. <laughs> She be getting mad because I, I be cutting the grass with my, with my, with my gun on my hip. <laughs> she, like, hey, she burned, she burned the hole in the side of your face, uh, Billy. You should do it. I just, I just, I, I, I do the same thing, Billy. I'm out in the yard. I got that thing on my hip. People say they stage stuff, places, and everything. The best stage for me is right on it's my side, right next to where I can, That's the best stage. Now that don't yeah. necessarily guarantee the best outcome, but the door start getting kicked on. I mean, there's yep. 20 really right there. And if I got yep. to get to the big stuff, then that means things have gone wrong. Because when that gun starts going have, off, have, have gone people, wrong. people yep. change their mind. When that gun starts going off, you, you come in force. I've seen plenty of videos. Once I'm running, one dude start popping some caps at them, they all run out their way. Because nobody want to get yep. shot. Nobody want to be the first hey, to get hey, shot. I call, it, I call it the oh shit factor. Exactly. The oh shit factor. They go, oh shit, and then they run. Yeah. They go, oh shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. The old tip factor. The gun going off make you change your mind, man. Hey, I'm about to go. I'm tired. My legs hurt. How was uh? How was school? How school? Work, How's man. your first day of school, man? How's that, Alex? Shit, he almost a month in, bro. A month? <laughs> Damn, my, man, my daughter just started today. Yeah, he, he well, was going to go back till next week. Today was today was Lil Zach first Monday. Bro. He was back last yeah, Tuesday. Yeah, so my son started Thursday. My my daughter started today. Mm. Yeah, I, he, was, son, he already he already overslept for the bus. Fourth week or third week? <laughs> <laughs> Either way, yeah, he running through him. Don't say it like that. I mean, whatever that kid do, I don't. <laughs> yeah, say it no, different. He's, 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 he's proud of his boy. He said, "I said it, yeah." He's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like, he's <laughs> Good night, Alex. Good night, Alex. Alex. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good night. Uh, night. Roblox. Tiny t shirt. Yes, sir. Damn. All right, y'all. I'm about to, uh, I got to call the wife. Y'all be easy, man. All right, man. Be safe. Enjoy yeah, for sure. Peace. 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 So now that Roblox is gone. I will have to admit, I am horrible. I'm way too comfortable at home. I'd be losing my firearm, my phone. Yeah, I know. I, I don't know why you do that. And you, the first thing, where he always going to. I gotta be. wait for either Billy, Zach, or Alex to call me. To find it. Hey, I, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the one to say nothing, but I gotta get better. <laughs> keep me. Yeah, keep. I mean, listen. It's. It's a lifestyle. I'm, it it I just, I always, I always have a gun. It's like, it seems weird, and I, I always have a gun. I have this thing life, where man. wherever I start the day is where I'll finish the day. 
and whatever I have in my pockets goes directly in the same spot every fucking day, bro. It's, it's, it's just unbreakable. And my firearm is part of that. Yep. And I say to Erica, why is your gun in the front of the house? Fucking just chilling up there, backpack or whatever <laughs> she calls a purse, but it's really a tactical backpack. <laughs> you ain't got to do it right With now. a gun in it. And you're in the back of the house. I'm like, babe, listen, you got to cut this shit out. I ain't want to say nothing to nobody, but no, you know, but that's- it should be said. I am very unprepared. I am way too comfortable in my house. When but- I've been home with too many situations without Billy, I should know better. Yeah. Right? Burner girl, what up, young lady? Hey, I'm gonna drop the link. I want hey, burner girl. If this part of your outfit, he's right. That's what it's, it's part. It's just like I grab a belt or a wallet or a flashlight. Yeah. It's just it just is, and, and like. It's it's just, just it's, you, you, have, you have to make it a you have to make it a habit. And it is a hard lifestyle. Like truth and integrity said, it's it's not easy, but it's something that when you commit to it, you commit to it. Right. It just becomes, it just becomes like having a second hand, a, a third hand, I should say. Yeah. So uh, girl? do me a favor. If any any young ladies in the chat um have a second to jump in, I just want to ask you your opinions. because uh, moving around is a little different for women than it is for men. You know what I mean, yes. I just want to ask you the, the opinion on how they do it. Not saying you're doing it wrong, or you could use some help. I'm sure, but how are you doing it? You know what I'm saying? And 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 let's see if if you can get some pointers from the community to see. All right, you know what? Yeah, just like Erica had to go through it. I'm gonna change that up. I'm gonna start working more on getting this. Stuff, you know, um, thank God for fucking uh, biometric safes. Mm-hmm. They had to remember numbers. Oh, no. Somebody getting shot. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody getting hurt. Erica's throwing knives, spitting blades out of her cheek. That's why. That's why I just think is I just I don't know. It's just something that because when I first was legally able to carry a gun, I never would carry. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was a little bit thrown off when I first could. I didn't like having one in the head. Now I, I think you're crazy if you don't. I always thought people were could see what I had. And there was a, there's a dude by the name of Assad Ayu, and I saw a video that he did. He's like a he's a gun guy, like like been around for many many decades. He was talking about basically the importance of carrying your firearm, and I watch ass all the time too, like self protection. Man, after I saw that video with Assad Ayu, it was just something clicked in my head that yo, why you got this big ass gun and able to carry it and don't? Yeah, I just started, I just started making myself carry it every day, and I realized. Ain't nobody looking at you. Nobody can see that. They see you because you're, you're a big dude. But that's it. Mm, so a, where I am, there's a gun. Unless, unless there's a metal detector or something like that, <laughs> there's, there's a gun there with me. Just yeah, it. I, I, lifestyle. I wear my gun like my shoes, man. If I don't have it on, I really don't. I don't feel right at all. It, it has to be on me. Yeah. They don't yeah. Know. If it's no. not allowed and I can't go in without a conceal it and they not know, I'm probably not gonna go. You don't and no juice that's the only place like a courthouse or going to Pretty much, yeah. something like other that. Than that. Other than that, yeah, even even if I mean I have to say, even if it's a school, just because they got a sign, I don't care if they got a sign. I mean yeah, kid football practices and everything. Church I, don't matter. Yeah, church. Oh church, I big gun on that. Yeah, man. The, the world is the world is a crazy place. You need to be able to. There's no like I like to, like I like to say. There's no guarantee that having a gun is gonna, you know, guarantee your survival. But mm-hmm. I'd rather be gunned down with my gun than gunned down without it. Let me just tell you the truth. I, I'd rather be. At least I know I had a fighting chance. If I can get them rounds off first, shoot, I might win. Joseph Harris said, "Make sure you keep one in your bathroom." Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> Do you have? Uh, little stash spots or safes yes. around the house. No. Yes. So Zach, it's just it's just what you get. You know what I started doing now, and I didn't do this. I, I'll be honest with you. I didn't do this up until I don't know months, a few months ago, True. where I have a firearm in the safe, and I put an extra box of of rounds full 50 round count in the safe because i used to just have the firearms and whatever would that firearm had that was it 
So I have a revolver and a and a twelve round over here. I got a revolver toward the back. I got. Don't tell them it. I mean, they, they can't see my house, but, but I never put extra rounds with it. Now, when I do access those, I'll be grabbing fifty rounds alongside of what's already in the in the firearm. And I don't know why the fuck I didn't do that in the beginning. But I do it now. So if anybody does have that set up, put put extra round, you know, put a box of fucking bullets in there with the firearm. That coincides, you know what I'm saying? Keep some loaded extra loaded magazines. Yeah, keep, keep some magazines loaded. that are preloaded because if you get stuck in a back room somewhere, you, you you know, that might not be the room where your fucking uh uh ammo is. Yeah, I just started doing that, picking up extra magazines for the, the guns. I usually I'll just whatever comes with the gun, I was just running with that. And and, and yeah. lately I've been buying mag mags the most. I started I've been I like like I I feel a little bit bad for the people who like started quote unquote post pandemic or during I've I'm way mm-hmm. well, I'm I'm well years before pandemic. I've been buying magazines and bullets and everything. So I'm I'm sort of prepared when it comes to that so like i have i have multiple magazines for so damn everything so yeah, and then yeah. this, this i don't keep anything staged but in the safe if i gotta get to the big stuff oh when i get to the big stuff it's ready to go ain't gonna be no oh i gotta load this magazine like no here go five magazines let's get busy so yeah. if that's the case things have gone terribly wrong shit has just you know it's catastrophic and who knows what's getting ready to happen yeah but hopefully, you know, that much rounds flying around in, in a in the house. Hopefully, you know, right. we don't need, you know, but a shot or two. You know, but you never fucking know. Never know. That's what that's that's what that's called, Rip Curl. Okay. I ain't I ain't know it had a name. <laughs> Damn, y'all be ready. See, that's it. That's the other difference. Now I'm gonna talk real talk. I, I, I ain't know it had a name. Hey, that's the other difference. Some of us just be wanting to survive the incident, and some of us be ready for fucking war. <laughs> God <laughs> damn! It's better. It's better to be prepared and have stuff that you ain't gonna use and need it and not. Now, I, now, if I get into a sustained firefight where I need six fully loaded thirty round magazines plus another five twenty round magazines. Now, I'm in something, and I don't know what the hell I just got myself into, but yeah. it's better for me to have it. And hey, along with the plates, and it's better to be like, listen, I'm ready to go. Let's let's get in. Yeah. yeah. I know it's it probably like a 99 percent chance that I'm never ever ever gonna have to go to that. So that, that, that's that's but it's but it's, if I need it, it's there. It's ready to go. Mentos, what up? Mentos, I'm about 70 percent there. What up, Mentos? Yeah. Hey, Jova, I don't think anybody in within the family <laughs> is collateral damage. You know? I'm just talking about on the just just on the, the setup, Joe. That's all. I mean, I can't care about so much. <laughs> he said it was right <laughs> uh, But we do have a plan, and that's that's a part of uh, home security that a lot of people should consider too. Um, a lot of us are like, you know gun heads and and you know some of us a little more extreme than others but oftentimes our family ain't our, our <laughs> wife kids ain't and they don't want shit to do with it so getting them together on a plan for you know when something happens goes bad or whatever it's not easy talk you know they think we're extreme just like some of us think you know some other extreme like nigga damn it's just a house it's not a fucking military base and but they're prepared for the worst of it you know, so even if you're prepared for just a little bit of it, is extreme to somebody, and for a lot of us, that's our wives, our children, our husbands. Yeah, you so lucky. You don't have that. We have that. Huh? Where's your gun, Erica? Go get it. Four minutes. I'll give you four minutes to find it. Dark. Where did I leave it? <laughs> She's thinking about it right now. Yeah, it's probably in the fucking car. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. 
Tuesday. Right. I said I'm gonna start tomorrow. That's what it is. Everything you starts start on tomorrow. Tuesday. Well, you better find it so you have it tomorrow. You need to start tonight so you can have it exactly. But either way, we got a we got a plan, and it's basic as all heck. I know better. Um, we have firearms along the way to our safe spot. And the safe spot is where we spend most of our time any fucking way. And that clock, Alex and Erica need to know that that's where they're going to end up. And the only way that they come out of that closet is somebody, it's something specific to be said. I don't want to say too much, I guess. But, um, but yeah, so we do have a, a plan set up on that. Yeah. Alex knows what to grab and, and, you know, it's been the same for years. Um, but as far as like collateral damage, I'm not prepared for none of that. I don't think any of us are. No. So I jump back in, and you guys start talking my language. Mag, <laughs> having mags and ammo and all that stuff. Yeah, you gotta have you gotta have you uh, have you some sort of setup. You know, I hope I know hope I never have to go to it, but if I need to, I can. I personally I try to have at least five magazines per handgun. And I try to have between twenty and thirty magazines per rifle. Like it. Same kind of with me. I I I pretty much got like two of each gun and multiple magazines. So if I, if I grab one and she grabs one, or if she needs mags or something breaks on one, you got to use part. Like I I I kind of kind of try and use the same platforms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, everybody's numbers are different, so you do you. But you know. I'm not comfortable unless I have at least six thousand rounds of rifle Damn. per rifle. Per rifle. Per yeah. rifle. Real deal is a, is a uh, ammo factory. Mm -hmm. I like, was uh, talking to y'all. Y'all yeah, yeah, make me realize you guys, that. You know that. You know. <laughs> I mean, oh, you know, like I tell my wife, one day I'm gonna wake up and be an old man. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna be like, I gotta go shoot all this ammo before I die. You know. <laughs> The pocket list never came, but you know, I rather have it and I have it. That's true. So bad. Rick, Rick, you're, right. you're right, bro. That's right. You need to have overwhelming firepower and be the most violent motherfucker in the situation. Right. I mean, right. I, I agree. Yeah. My just, whole purpose for, for my, my guns is to not fight fair. Whenever it happens, I don't yeah, want it. I, mean, I, don't, I, don't I, don't believe in, I don't believe in fair fights. My father yeah, always told me, you I fight for you fight yeah, the wind. I was talking you fight not to fight fair. Right. 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 Pick up a rock and you bash somebody's head in. The That's only fair fight is the one that I win. The other, other than that, yeah, it ain't fair. And you got to remember, so if you may say, well, that's way too much ammo, you know, I don't think the apocalypse will ever come. And you could be completely right, but I guarantee you what will come will be panic buying. And guess what? After that, we'll be more panic buying. And after that, we'll be more panic buying. That's true. There's a, we have a, we, there's too much of a history of people panic buying and absolutely absolutely no ammo on the shelf. And guess what? While you're out panic buying, I'll be down in my gun range practicing and having fun. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Got to get prepared. Yeah, you need to practice real deal. Every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, there's, there's a lot of things that, like I said, man, that us, y'all, we can all do better. You know? And, and, it's wild that just coincidentally airplanes going through what he's going through because home security don't necessarily stop at home. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. That exactly. Follows you all the way to your job. And you don't know how yeah. motherfuckers is watching you. There nobody. You go. Well, I won't say nobody, but not often is it a random, oh, that truck or that car. Sometimes yeah. it's a couple of days of somebody analyzing your steps. Yeah. You, know what you, do. you know what I mean? So, so yeah, man, this, this is something important that we all should be going through. We all got something valuable that we don't want to lose. Mm -hmm. And how, how are we going to do the best within our means to protect it? You know, and, and that's something that we all have to fucking just start, pep, you know, just start getting your mind right for shit like that. And then do the action. Mm -hmm. I mean, somebody had said something about air tags. I mean, it, it won't stop nobody from taking it, but you might listen, be able to. Listen, 
I got a quick story about those. I, I, a lot of my friends were are, are, are in the music industry and whatnot. We one one night noticed a couple different of our cars had air tags on them that we didn't put on that's, them. Yeah, that's how some people yeah, feel them. That, that was that was that was real eye opening. Yeah. To, to, to notice somebody's watching you when you didn't know you were being watched or being followed and it's like man what's going on yeah it was a it was a couple of our cars actually and it was, that was you got to be aware yeah man that's creepy it is and think about yeah. how, how um that's how they've been that, that, to that, that was something big in detroit for a while I actually yeah, man. A, big, a, a big thing that they were doing it was some group of guys, they were catching guys going into the bars, into the, the strip clubs. And they'd see who the big time dudes was or the spenders. They'd go and, you know, either tag their cars or follow them home. And, yeah. you know, start to watch them. Next thing you know, people's houses are getting broken into crazy. And you mm. know, it was just, it was a string of it going on. And like I said, that's when we found out about the air tags. And it was, yeah. And just you gotta watch it. I'm a firm believer there is true evil in this world. And there's some people just want your life. Just they just want to take your life. That's it. Right. Be prepared. I mean, look at that. Look at those poor people in the gas station. They locked the door. The guy said, open the door, I'm gonna start shooting people. And guess what? I agree, see. He started, he started right. killing people. Just the point to take their lives. See, you are you are you're absolutely correct. Boy, I be, agree, see. It is exhausting. It, it, every day it, it's it's exhausting it is what, what, what's it, what's so exhausting about it you can remember when you didn't have to live like this right. and when you weren't living you, like you, this. you can't be on 100 percent of the time either people will tell you that oh, i'm always on no you, it's impossible because it is exhausting right. mentally exhausting for real sometimes yeah. it's, it's worth the conversation no doubt yeah but Fuck, man. And there's always somebody saying some shit that you need to do right now. <laughs> so it's a new idea. Fuck, I've been good. So this, this sort of goes on the same subject, but kind of kind of takes it to the left a little bit. So when when is there a point where you say, I don't need to buy any more guns. I need food storage. I need ammo. I need stuff like other stuff than guns. Boy, you about to get yourself kicked off. I thought you were going to stop there. I was like, what? <laughs> Say no shit like that. Um, Yeah, yeah, there, there is a point, and it's a feeling. You know, and I don't I don't know, you know, as a content creator, it should be a little different. You know, we're always trying to get the leading edge on the newer things and the cool guns and whatever, blah, blah, blah. But I was recently talking to Zach and Lito about my thought process on attaining firearms now and i'm not so much in a rush like i used to be i feel like i'm settled on what i have and now i have more ammo than i used to you know what i'm saying and it's you know it's working out for me i'm not making it you know like i gotta buy the shit for the most part shit well there's a few things on my list i would like to get if you're done buying from yours <laughs> you said, forget this. I look around like, where's she at? Oh, she with me. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, I mean, I just because when we talk about, it, I just there's a point where, cause I mean, because honestly, if, if I never bought another gun again, starting right now, I got way more than enough. If I never bought another one. I like being a content creator is part of it, but I like, and I say this, I'm not a gun collector. I'm a gun hoarder. And that is the truth. Yeah. Because I, 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 I know people who can move guns around. You get this, you move it, you sell it, you do it. I can't do that. You can ask Billy. I'm, it's hard for me to do that. I'll figure out a way to not have to sell it so I can keep adding. I got it because I wanted it, and I don't want to get rid of it. That's that's what I, I'm a gun hoarder. I like having them. And I don't want to yeah. stop until, until I got at least two hundred. Then I'm stop. I'll Maybe. eat I'll eat baloney for a month straight if I if I want to buy a gun. Yeah, that's what I'm because it's, it's it's just it's something that you, you it's something you want to do. 
But at the same time, at the same time, you get your ammo right. You get your canned goods right. You get your water right. You get your survival food right. You get your generators right. You do all, all the time. You, you you do that stuff, and you do it when you can. It's just, oh, to, to me, it's all part of it. It's like it's a, it's a holistic sort of thing. Well, see, that's that's the advantage that we that's the advantage that we have, Zach, is that we're prepared. We've been we've been doing this for years. This ain't like new to us. So right. we have, we're at a level, right? We have food storage, we have extra gas, we have generators, we have that stuff. Mm-hmm. So now we can focus on if I want to go buy that gun, I go get that gun if I want. You know what I'm saying? We're we're at that we're at that level. Yeah, I feel I, I never feel comfortable that I have enough, but I feel that if something were to happen. I can okay. the amount of defense. I can, and when I say by amount of defense, I mean have some food, have some water, have other things that I need until I can get the other stuff. I, I'm, I'm at a position where I feel I can survive for how, however long I'd be able to. I have stuff, but I never get satisfied with it because it's more that I want to have. And when I can do it, I'm going to do it. I mean, even my wife is, we got all this stuff, but. When she look around and she needs something, say, well, man, I wish we had that. Well, we do. You just don't know we do. It's right here. There you go. How you do it? <laughs> and I ain't done. I won't be done. I, that's a goal. <laughs> I want to have 200. I don't care. Just 200. That's what I want. And then when I get there, maybe I'll stop. I don't know. Maybe I'll stop. When it comes to my preps and my, my get prepared stuff, where I... I'm going to say I'm lacking, but I'm not lacking. I'm just going to need manpower. Mm-hmm. That's, that's, yeah. that's what Somebody I need. Hold it. Mm-hmm. Somebody help Somebody me hold it down. Me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's funny, Rindo, that you say that. Because me and Gina was just talking about you today. And I sh- we was sitting Don't here. fucking smile, man. <laughs> He's he's looking right. He's looking, he's looking sexy with that. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> I had two black mama talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> Get your ass out of here. <laughs> but she was just saying, like, I would like to meet real deal because she is close to real deal. And she was just like, she'll be, you know, she would want to get to know because if things did hit the fan, she's a great asset for a real deal to have. She can, she gardens. Hey. She does the firearms. That's manpower that he's most likely to want around hey. him. Apparently, Gina gets killed off, so I wouldn't even want to link them. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to put them in the same fucking room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, good to know that. Like, you know, like, like I know Gina's Gina's is close in town. I know real deal is relatively close. If I had the lead time, I could get to him if I needed to. Ask stuff up like, listen, you need manpower. I can come up there and be an asset. Things like it's it's stuff like that. Being able to to have that is good because you don't because everybody does it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's good to know. Hey, listen. All right, I'm bringing these two thousand whatever. I got this food story. You know, I can add to whatever you got. I can help. You know, it's good to right. be able to have that type of stuff. It's to feel comfortable. If the power goes out, I ain't threatened. I'm gonna be like, oh man, okay, the power's out. Let me go grab this. So I can be able to do this, you know, my, and it's just, it, it feels good like that. The store said, ain't no meat in the store. Well, let me go grab some of these jars off the shelf, make myself something that, because I know it's going, you know, stuff like that. Oh, I need some vegetables some fruit or something. It's just, it's being able to know that you have that stuff. It make you feel good. They ain't no meat in the store. Let me go down, let me go down the hill and kill one of these pigs. Yeah, see, something like that. Shit, real deal. If I show up, I'm gonna have a tourist for everybody. <laughs> we're gonna all be air racket, man. Oh, everybody got me. People will be walking down the street. We're gonna stand in line. Going. Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Skilly. Yep. What you doing? I'm trying to figure out. You got a uh, IG pay? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start one up though. Oh, okay. Yo, stop trying to find out about airplane. No, <laughs> hey, hey, car, man. Playing truck missing. He don't need no new friends right now. <laughs> <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Yo, what's up, man? What's up, Skilly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they on eight, 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 eight miles still in. Skilly not still in the <laughs> I'm just playing Skilly. <laughs> Raisin, 
Raging Hornet. What's that? Oh, that's that 22 Hornet? Oh, my oh, God. Right. You think 22 Magnum, my motherfucker? 22 Hornet. Hornet. I, I showed that to you with the yellow strap, uh, back strap. Oh, uh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. That's, a, that's a bad joker right there, Rip Curl. But can you get ammo for it? Hell no. Uh-oh. Yeah, where, where would you find the 22 Hornet ammo? That's the thing. You probably can't even find it where you buy the gun. That's the crazy part. <laughs> that's crazy. Is, is, it, is, it, is it around? My advice, my advice for people getting into prepping and buying guns, get yourself a 5.56. Get yourself a 9mm. Get that kind of stuff first. And then as you go along, you can get you can get guns that have unique calibers and stuff. Man, get a 22. I'm not a 22 guy. I'm a shotgun guy. I, I mean, get a shotgun too. What I'm saying, get a 22, man. People sleep on the 22. That 22 oh, round, that 22 round, and put a lot of things in the dirt. That's right. It'll put some squirrels in a crock pot. You sure? Rabbits too. <laughs> Possums. Real dude, I can't. I can't eat a possum, man. I can't. That thing just too damn ugly, man. That, right. No, no. You lie. You lie. If you're hungry, you haven't ate three days. You no. eat the shit out of a possum. I mean, I, I, I guess he's right if I was that hungry. I mean, as long as, long as I didn't see his face, I'd probably be all right. <laughs> I can't be that hungry. You can't. I, I'm not eating no possum. I had a friend. Anybody ever, you guys ever eat raccoon? Eat it. No. no I'm not I'm eating raccoon. I'm going to say ra- possum is better than raccoon. I can't do that. I want yeah. I mean, like I, said, I, I had, I had, a, I had a bag of squirrels in the freezer. I never ate. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I, I just couldn't bring myself to eat it. You bought that shit in your house? Yeah, somebody gave me a to work with her husband on squirrels. And she was like, you know, we were talking about it. She was like, Zach, she said, we got plenty. I'll bring you some. So she bought me with frozen and everything. And I just I just couldn't bring myself to eat it. That was good eating. Hey. Oh, hey, you've been eating too many of them shits. <laughs> right, it looked like you've eaten all the possums. Yeah, that's right. I was, I, was, uh, I was about 90 pounds heavier there. <laughs> Is that a pelican? What's that? That was a pellet gun? Yeah, pellet gun. Yeah, pellet gun to kill a possum for sure. Yeah. <laughs> those pellet guns don't sleep on those things either, man. They're more powerful than 22, some of them. What's up, Bessie? Yet? Young, young lady. How are you? Hey, Bessie. But yeah, nah, man. man. See, I, I agree with you. It'd be real deal. We only talk about odd animals when real deals on a panel. See? Yeah. I mean, you're a hillbilly. Like I say, I've never say I, I can't never say never because if because the first thing is you hand me give me some possum and I eat it and I and I think it's tasty, it's a it's a done deal. Now if I'm sitting somewhere like listen, if you eat this possum and you're gonna die, I just became a possum connoisseur. It just sort of is what it is. I if I mean if, if you can eat McDonald's, you can eat a possum. I'm just gonna say it just like that. Whoa. I'm gonna say this. If I'm starving and there's a stray dog, there's not gonna be a stray dog anymore. Hey, I can listen. Like people talk about it, they try to say like you go to the to the Chinese restaurant. You know, it's the thing. Oh, they gonna feed you dog. If they've been feeding me dog all these years, then dogs are damn good. <laughs> and, I, and I don't and I, and I don't care. They don't make me, they don't make me sick. And it nourishes me. No, it is what it is. I ain't eating no damn German Shepherd, man. It just I don't want to know. I make some know. make some schnitzel out of it. Poodle. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Oh, I mean, you don't want to, but, but listen, worst hey, come to work. Guess what? The Donner Party didn't want to eat their best friends, but guess what he did? I just feel like there's too much stuff you can grow. <laughs> Thank you, man. Playing. Yeah, they be acting like they ain't no other option. <laughs> well, uh, well no. see how that can be the right answer, man. If it's I'm all for plant, but guess I'm what? So if you're starving to death, you're not going to wait for that tomato plant. To That's pop. right. You, you ain't going to wait for the tomato plant, but you see that rolling around over there making noise and like, wait a minute, you know something? You're about to have some fritters. <laughs> <laughs> what I don't understand is why does real deal get awesome when he has goats? Pigs and all this other that all has a season. You don't just eat it when you get hungry. It all has a season. And Erica, possum's good. You got and you, you got to diversify your meats. You know. Uh, I mean, look. I just want some. What's that? Cows. Would you eat a rat? Would I eat a rat? Yeah. Hell, I wouldn't want to eat a rat, but if I'm starving. I'll eat a rat. Right, yeah. I'll, I'll cook that thing till it's crispy. 
Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to die. You get to the point to where you don't want to die. Like, it's like when I go see real deal. I hope you got some possum because I'm gonna try it. Oh man. Hey man. Airplane, do you have a garden? Let's start there. Do you have a garden? No, I don't. Then you eat some possum. Yeah, you right. You eat some possum. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want to go out here in Michigan? You, you know how to garden? He's talking about eating so damn tomatoes and stuff. Well, my I actually my grandma did used to have a garden. I used to watch her garden all the time, but that was that was years ago. But that. Not that's what I would go to. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I can't eat no no roadkill. No. <laughs> oh, I eat roadkill. I'm not. Why are you laughing? Did you start your garden, Philly? But I'm gonna tell you this right you now. Do. This ain't about there's more. There's more raccoons have, and critters in the city than there are in the country. That's yeah. true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's that's why I don't want to eat them because I I see what they do. The scavengers. Yep. Yeah. Man, once, once I put it in that fire, Man. once I put it in that fire and I cook it up and let that fire purify it, get that meat, listen, ain't nothing living through the fire. It is what it is. I'm not trying to die if I'm looking, I'm sitting at home, oh my God, I'm hungry, and I just seen old five squirrels run by, I seen a, a, a rabbit, a raccoon, a possum, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm, I'm going to starve to death. No. Squirrel and rabbit is okay, but when you talk about raccoon and possums, I can't, I don't know. You know, this, yeah. this conversation reminds me of this joke. So, so this is so there was a flood happening in this town, right? This guy had a two-story house, and the, the water got raised up, and he had to go to the second floor, and a, and a boat come by, and he said, "Jump in, we'll take you to safety." The guy said, "No, thank you. The Lord will save me." Right. The boat goes off. The water rises up, and he goes on the roof, and then another boat comes by. Jump in, we'll take you to safety. No, thank you. The Lord will save me. So it goes by. He's standing on top of the roof, and the water is up to here. And the helicopter comes, and drops the rope, and says, "Climb up. We'll take you to safety." He said, "Oh, thank you. The Lord will save me." And then they leave. He drowns. He goes to heaven. He said, "Lord, I'm a believer. Why didn't you save me?" And God said, "I send you two boats and a helicopter. Where you want me?" To go? <laughs> we all we all gonna have to see them signs. Well, like I said, I eat something, but it's just I don't know. Send me a, a rabbit or uh, or, or a squirrel. Mike, shoot it. What up? If you, if you ain't got no choice, Kelly, I mean, that's why yeah. I guess, like it's like talking about people like eating eating crickets and stuff. I mean, I ate the cricket. It tasted good. Oh. Like I so, ate. Truth and integrity. Pigs are scavengers, but not the ones you raise. So wild hogs that, that live out in the woods, yeah, they're scavengers. Yeah. Oh, most definitely. But the one you raise, you're feeding a good stuff. Anybody eat chipmunk? I got some chipmunks right. back too, Walt. <laughs> be running around. I don't, I don't bother me. I just let them run around. Little Zach even gave him a name. We call him Chip. <laughs> <laughs> you need a whole bunch of them to, to satisfy you. I never. Let me ask y'all a question though. I think we talk about like rodents and scavengers and all that. But not often do we talk about other birds like large fowl. I'm not talking about no chickens and shit. I'm talking about like flying stuff, like well, like ducks, geese, and ducks and geese, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it, it's it's easy to to you know as a shooter, it's it's kind of easy to take that type of meat, and that might be a little cleaner. Maybe. That, I mean, that's people I, that eat. I, I, I will. I agree with that, Billy. I do birds before I'm doing. Four legs, man. See, I'm a happy. pigeon and a, and a, and a uh, what's those stupid birds called? Uh, they live by the sea. Uh, seagulls? Seagull? Those yeah. are rat with wings, man. Yeah. Hey, uh, they call a the pigeon. Yeah, they never rat with wings. <laughs> I, I, I agree with that too. They are. They eat anything. Yeah. Yo, you can catch yourself a nice goose or a swan or something like that. <laughs> I feel like swan. Swan. Eating for a good you have yeah, fried swan legs. <laughs> I know, those swan breasts. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Uh, I said it before. If you come across and they, they they're in the wild, Muscovy ducks. Those those ducks are. Oh my god, they taste like steak. They're delicious. Muscovy duck. Okay. That's what yeah, quacker, Zach. That's what quacker is. Okay. 
go. You know, that's that's what I mean. You, you don't you don't want to do this stuff, but if it came down to it, and that's all it was, and you had to survive. I guess I would do it, but my mind right now, since I ain't got to deal with it, I guess that's why I'm saying I won't. So I think the moral of the story is, if you don't want to do all that stuff, then get prepared today. Start getting prepared. Mm -hmm. right. right, real deal. You're right. Let me ask you, chat, and I probably asked the chat before, but has any does, has, does anybody prep? Hell yeah. Um, yeah, with bullets and guns, I do. That's about yeah, it. You, you, can't, better. you can't eat bullets and you can't eat guns. Right. I know. I know. I don't know. You, you know, the thing is, is I don't think there's anybody that's going to be fully rounded on nah. prepping, per se, with food, gardening, canning, firearms, health, um, plans. You know, no, I just don't think anybody is the perfect prepper. Yeah, nobody's a perfect prep. If you break it down, you'll be overwhelmed. Right, right, exactly. Real deal's right. You try to break it down, you'll be overwhelmed. You got to do you know, what you can. If if if, uh, if money's tight, guess what? Go down to go to all these. We live, you know, save a lot. Get to a case of Roman noodles. You know what I'm saying? All you need is water, fire, and you got a meal. Yeah. Got a meal, right? Look, you get a case for cheap. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Get, Get canned goods. Those are cheap. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You may not be eating high off the hog, but guess what? You're eating. That's right. Get you some, some Vienna sausages and all that. It ain't the, it ain't the best. That you be, but it's good. It'll keep you alive. <laughs> Walmart sells canned meat. Yep. Hamburger, uh, chicken. They sell mm -hmm. uh, pork and all that stuff, and it, and it doesn't expire. It's, you know? I got, I got a whole shelf full of that stuff. Do I want to eat that? No, but guess what? I put some spaghetti sauce on it. It's going to taste good. A little salt, pepper, ketchup, and mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Back with bananas. No bananas. What the hell? I want no damn banana. Mm -hmm. You no. can't be with bananas. That's just nasty. <laughs> You're going to get sick. No, see a sunshine. Nobody sardines with mustard. Uh -uh. She tried. She tried. She don't like the sardines? No. Sardines are actually good, man. You got to get the right ones and get it in the right stuff. That's the thing. She tried all these new flavors. Get you some and some. Give us. You can get them in tomato sauce and some olive oil. You can get all yeah, types. Yo, man, it, I mean, it's good. I do buying the sauce before. I do. They're not, sardines, but no, I'm not bad. It's just certain ones. You just eat the whole thing. Just certain ones. <laughs> but I'm telling you, when it comes to prepping, if you would just buy a month's worth of food, can't spaghettis, pastas, you know, stuff like that, just have it put back, and they have some water put back, you're almost prepared for anything. Okay. Right. Unless, unless it's, you know, really poop hits the fan. But the odds of that happening, you know, Probably not gonna happen tomorrow, you know. Then go go out there and get you some get you some beans and get you some rice and get you some you know, canned meat, like real deal stuff, things like that. That stuff you don't want to have to do it, but I mean you have it just in case you need it. I mean it just sort of is what it is. What happens if uh you know COVID twenty five comes around, man, and nobody can leave their house, period. That's true. I think about yeah, that. And that was that was the thing, that was one of the things because I had already like started that before the whole COVID thing happened, but I'm telling you, it, it made my mind sort of shift even more. When I walked in the store mm -hmm. and went around the corner and I saw that there was no meat. I mean, it was absolutely nothing. I'm looking, it was like chicken livers and stuff like that. Now, if I had to, I could take that and eat that if I needed to. But when I, when I went and I saw that, I never thought that I would see anything like that. So mm -hmm. it in my mind clicked immediately like wait a minute this is different i don't know i, I didn't start having a conspiracy theory i didn't nothing all i knew was when i went to get the hamburger it wasn't there and all the other meat was going to unusual now, remember walmart gets uh they get semis delivered every day okay. if they can't get deliveries in it only takes them three days to run out of food and that's if people are just buying food regularly 
regular. You are panicking. It's, it's oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Drop, drop, drop beans, badass. That's right. That's right. I got, I got, uh, Anything five about gallon, dry. five gallon buckets full of dry beans and rice and all that. You gotta, yeah. you gotta set aside, man. You keep your water storage and all that. Keep your way to make fire. I mean, that's the thing. You don't wanna, you don't wanna have to do it, but your mind needs to be able to shift. That okay, I got these beans and I got this rice. This is gonna keep me alive. I wish that right. yeah. it is what it is. And there's a lot of right. people right. that make a good income and they don't want a bunch of food. What do they do? They buy, they buy a bunch of mountain house and they you know what i'm saying and that stuff you, you can get tons of wise food mountain house, that kind of stuff all you do is add water boom heat i got i got i got, I got, I got real deal in this closet over here to the left i got 10 of them wise big buckets full of different servers with dried milk and all type of i that was one of when i was first really getting into it heavy those were some of the first things that i did some things last for like 30 years exactly so i mean Work on the worst. Something, something happens. I can make a fire. I got my extra water. I can go grab me a, a thing. I just gotta. I mean, I don't forget how many servants per, and they're different. But I got enough to feed me and my family for a week, or maybe longer than that, or you know, if I needed to. It's not ideal, but it's gonna keep you alive. You know, oatmeal don't cost that much. It, it, it does not. Bag of sugar. Get some cinnamon. Get some honey. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It's a good pick me up. Get you some yeast. Make your own bread. <laughs> Oh. That's right. Hey, airplane. Yes, sir. You you ever make a fire with uh, simple supplies like basic supplies? Nah, no, nope. I never did that. I I think that's another thing a lot of people need to try to hone in on certain simple survival skills. Bullshit! Like you ain't got to spend all day doing it. Spend five minutes, or whatever, and see if you can get flint and. I don't know some dry leaves or whatever to, to actually catch because a, a lot of part is a lot of us will have things but not know how to fucking use them. I did this with with uh, Erica. No, get you a piece of aluminum foil and a double A battery and a paper towel. Now oh, it's going. Now it may it's going heat okay. up when you grab it. Well, the, that, I, that, I used to use the magnifying glass to burn yeah. stuff, and I used to yeah. like burn leaves with that as a kid. Yeah. Nah, that's the but one way I know. That aluminum foil fire. gets hot. You put that on some some sort of kindling or a piece of paper towel. It's gonna set a fire. I did it in my kitchen. Me and me and Eric were watching somebody. I, I did it in the kitchen. And it works. It gets it gets hot, but you yeah. just gotta you know, if you have something to grab it, you take it. And you can start you a fire with a double A battery and a piece of aluminum foil. You mm -hmm. also can use the uh, use the battery and use some uh, Troy Boy or some triple R wall. Mm hmm. Yeah. Just, I mean, this the alcohol. That's another one. Vaseline and cotton balls, yeah. Yeah, I keep that in my bag every day. Mm -hmm. Dry and lint, true of integrity is right. If you get you some dry and lint, this is stuff that you can keep, and that stuff will catch That's, on. Um, dry and lint is what we have in our bug out bags, mm -hmm. and we we keep that. It's like we can't get enough. My wife makes these things. Uh, you take a uh, cardboard a crate, you use wax, dryer lint, and a cone, put it all together, and it starts to. End. Fire starter. Yeah, I seen that. Right, what? Egg carton, uh, uh, paper or carton, egg carton, and you put Vaseline, uh, lint, and uh, pine cone. Pine cone. And and what the fuck do you do after that? You gotta light it. <laughs> you gotta light it, but it's yeah, it, it's, it's still it. Then you can start a fire. And it sustains, like it it doesn't burn out quick. No. no, because the, the lint catches on fire. You use Vaseline. My wife uses wax. The wax burns, and then the pine cone starts burning. Well, that's going to burn a while. Then you start getting kindling around it. Yeah. You know how people make those, like, um, like you can make those. I don't know how many hour candles, man. Get you some Crisco and a little little jar yeah. and a, a wick. You got yeah. you a that candle burn forever. Forever. <laughs> yep, you're absolutely right. You're right. Yeah. Stuff, that's stuff like that that you can do. You can just you know, get you some Crisco and just, and just make it. There's stuff that you can do. And here's, a, and here's a, a really simple thing to do. In your bug out bag, keep uh, lighters, big lighters, and a candle. You light your candle, guess what? You can start fires. You can go go in the woods and take a poop. You can do whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. 
So, Emily, do you have a bug out bag? I, I never even thought about starting a fire. I have every everywhere that I go, and it's something that I started doing. I always, I always have a way to start fire with me. I keep it on my keychain. I keep it in my bag in the car. You never know, but I always have like these little. I got it's like a little capsule, and you and it's got a little thing on it with a little wick. Yeah, and I, do, like, I have a bug out bag. Actually, I have two of them. Keep all that. So fire is life. Fire mm -hmm. is the heat. You can cook. You can boil water. You just don't drink water out of, out of a lake or a river. You're gonna die. You're gonna get parasites. So you gotta boil that water. Hey, I know. I know, I know you can make a fire with potato chips and Doritos. Yeah, Doritos yeah, that shit is flammable. Is, yeah. I didn't know that. Fire up on a Dorito and it would go up in flame. Does it matter what Doritos is cool ranches? Does it matter? <laughs> don't, not, it don't matter. Oh, I don't want to burn the cool ranch. That's why we eat Doritos and you fart. It burns. What? Hey, look, 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 look. Air, airplane went and stole his truck back. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. He goes, let me re let me reverse this here, but <laughs> man. man. But yeah, there's there's a lot of things that you know each and every like, like I say in the beginning of every live that we have, we're learning ourselves, which means everybody in the community has an ample opportunity to teach or to learn something every time they, they walk away from uh this show. And that's important, man. And, and if there's one or two people that say, fuck, man, I'm going to try this. It sounds simple. I'm going to try it at my own time, my own pace or whatever. And that and that to me is just like, that's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. This is why Billy's You can use bleach. X amount of drops of bleach to, to make your water last yeah. longer. But you can buy something to put in there. Like I have. I use, I've used bleach and I have some stuff that I bought that you can put inside there. It's supposed to, it's supposed to keep the water fresh for five years or something like that or whatever. Yeah. It literally, nothing lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever. But, you know, go and buy, buy extra eggs. Go home, put mineral oil on the eggs, put them back in the carton, put them in a dark closet. They're good for six months. You know? I, I've, I've watched somebody um, recently, I, I watched a lot of like, um, survival shows and all and i watched somebody put a storage underground and they only they only store fresh things like fruit and salads and etc we oftentimes lose about a month on the fruit that we get in our stores it's they've been in processing somehow pick truck delivered delivered edge deliver all this shit, and we lose a lot of time and then it goes into a store and it gets shocked in this environment and it gets put into a, a warmer environment and then back in a cold environment and it loses like dexterity as as it gets to us and it loses its life its shelf life yeah. and a lot of things if they're kept in the same environment to where they've grown they'll be fucking lasting forever they'll be lasting long time. you know what i'm saying so a lot of people think you know we got to put fucking tomatoes in the refrigerator. Yeah, it seems cool and common, but where the fuck do they grow? They don't grow on the top of snow. They grow on the hot ass ground. You know what I'm saying? So everything has a, a way to preserve it. Um, if we can grow it or, or attain it or whatever, um, without cutting into you know, too many chemicals and all that. Um, like you said, mineral oil, that's as basic as it gets and you'll get, how what like extra year out of eggs real deal no it was six months six, six months. months for fucking mineral oil clean off your eggs put some mineral oil on the outside of your eggs and then just you don't even have to put it in the refrigerator yep just put them in a dark closet keep them out yeah of the sun. keep keep it out of sun exposure and when, uh, good to go well is there anything else joe like honey i don't know honey like because that's an exception honey last Honey Let's never go. goes bad. It, it never goes bad. No, they found honey in, in like mummy's tombs and it was still good. Is there anything else like, anything else like honey? I need to know so I can get some of it. <laughs> anything um, like honey? Yeah, because yeah, honey lasts forever, man. You could 
I mean, you have honey for 50 malt? years, and it's still good. I think malt malt might be. Malt is like yeah. thick like sap, though. Okay. What's the other shit called? Molasses? Molasses? Syrup? No, no, molasses. Molasses, no. molasses or syrup probably depends what part of country you live in. But, uh, so what is it in the and you only have one Dorito chip? <laughs> You don't make a fire. Oh, no. <laughs> me, I Joe. Decision, Joe. Oh, meat is meat is like it's just like honey. Okay. You know, we said this before. You know, you buy you stock up on canned goods like canned veggies and stuff. We're we're, we're so used to opening up the can and draining all the water out and pouring it down the sink. Guess what? That's a water source. Yes, this you open that up, you drink it. Couldn't drink it though. If your ass ain't had nothing to drink, you would drink that shit. But it's so salty. Hold on, you said what real do you drink? drink? Canned veggies. No, like you buy uh canned veggies like corn, green beans, peas, you know how, you know how they, they're in water. Yeah. You, you open up the can and you drain the water out, then you cook it usually. Well now you got water so stores. You, you water. got food and water. Don't drink the shit like when you ain't fucked up. Just wait for it to be fucked up. <laughs> they drink that shit. <laughs> like I could just drink it now. Better drink you a can now. Drink you a can now, so you know what you like, know what you can stand. That's true. That's somebody. Yeah. Here's, here's another fun fact: you, you have a can till I got you. you don't have a can opener. You oh. take the can goods and go out, go out to the sidewalk and rub it really fast on it, and you can pop this. You can pop the whole seal off, or you can do it on the road. Driveway. Yeah, I just realized probably about a year ago that I've been opening cans the wrong way my whole life. So said. <laughs> I just been, I just realized that. Well, here's the wild part because my automatic can opener opens them from the top. Not it does. Top. My, my, mine does too. But when you use the manual one, because I, I when and I did, I watched the guy do it. I'm like, yeah, well, it comes off nice and smooth and clean, and you gotta be worried about. It worked. Yeah. It do, but I feel retarded doing it. I mean, sorry, I might not post that word, but I feel like a bobo doing it, trying to do it sideways. It's weird. It, it works though, man. It come off nice and clean. You got to worry about. I was like, man, I was like, dang, I said, I ain't all, all, all my life I've been doing it the wrong way. <laughs> I've been eating my veggies the wrong way. Mm -mm -mm. But, <laughs> yeah. That way, you know what that means. It's time to say goodbye, man. <laughs> Once your vibe starts, <laughs> don't put him on the camera. He might be rubbed up. Damn. What are you yeah, doing? In Opening this can to me. <laughs> there's a right, yeah, there's a right and the wrong way to open cans. Mentos, man. This, I mean, listen, I don't know if it's right or wrong. The other way it works. But when I tried it, it, it takes the lid completely off. If you turn the can open a sideways and hook it from the top and spin it around the top of it, it takes the top of it clean off. Ain't no worrying about digging nothing inside and pulling the thing out. It takes it clean off the top. It works. Mm -hmm. oh. Everybody drink a can of green bean water this week. You ain't saying nothing, yeah. Tabin. <laughs> yeah, you saying a whole lot, Tabin. I'm going to go ahead and smash it. Do it. Make sure you put it on uh, Instagram. We want to physically see you do that. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink some corn. Drink some green beans. Yeah, I mean, you so big. Well, you're right. gonna drink it anyway, but it's warmed up. Drink water. Yeah. Some people don't even pour it down. Yeah, I don't pour the. I don't pour the drink. I don't pour the. When I cook vegetables, I don't pour the stuff out of it. I put it in the pot with it. Yeah, see, I, I drain it. I put. I put the veggies in a bowl. With some butter, stick it in the microwave. Right? Beep beep, come out. Yeah, I don't. I'm putting it on top of the stove. I don't, I, don't, I don't pour that out the. I don't pour that out of the out of the can. That's flavor. <laughs> on the break, put the whole can in there. You ain't. Pour it. Well, now you just you warm it up and just. Right. That's how you do it. That's how you get. And if you're really fancy, you put a little bacon in it with the green beans. <laughs> Hey, hey, I, I'm just mad nobody said nothing all night about this damn stripper pole. <laughs> you gotta be a big chick to get around that stripper pole. That's right. Yeah, Maybe got back. <laughs>
we gonna be big bones playing around that. Man, hey, we had a good time tonight, man. Wait, hold on. Oh yeah, go ahead, babe. Sorry, go ahead. So Red Farm is doing the twenty-four hour camping challenge. We will be participating this weekend, so we might do a pop. Don't don't kick me out. So we might be doing- get ready to kick you out. Right, it's face said, What the hell? <laughs> I showed you the pose. I said, I accept the challenge, so we gotta do it this. She this said, Let Farmer say, I said, He ain't my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I'm out here with this damn shit. Nah, we're gonna do it. I don't know when so, we're doing it, but we'll do it. We're, we're gonna do a pop up on Saturday. We are, yes. Yeah. Yes, I'm gonna set it up on Friday. Are you gonna set it up on Friday? I'm gonna set up my my whole house on fr- on Friday, but we're gonna do a pop up live on Saturday. Billy said, "Dang, I thought that thing was put away for a season." Right? I thought it had a hole in it. <laughs> no, you said I couldn't. You said it was perfectly fine. No, I gotta buy me a new. I gotta buy me a new tent. See, I was trying to get that. You know what? I used to go camping all the time, and I just one day decided I don't want to do that no more. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I figured if life gets hard and I have to do it again, then I go camping. I'll be ready then. <laughs> but till then, right? That's funny. Hey. I just don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, Let farmer challenge challenge 24 hours camping in out in a tent. Bare essentials. Good luck, everybody. Look, airplane. Do it. I, have a day. I, have a day. I, I say he late. Copy J. Airplane, you froze, my man. There you go. Yeah, you know, you know they work together because neither neither one of the internet be working. Right. <laughs> Man, All right, man so he give a cold ass stare, can he? He said, "Embrace the suck, MFF." <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. How to take that? Say that shit different. <laughs> no, I know. I know exactly what he mean. <laughs> oh man, I wanna, uh, uh, Billy. Can I do something right quick, and uh, Erica, before you get off? Say that different. Huh? Oh, yeah. um. Shout out to everybody in the community. Uh, bought something for my daughter. And good thing that I sent out too. So thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. What's You're your welcome. daughter selling? I, I sent you a link, Dinner. Man, wow. my phone. My, my, hold on. Where the hell you go? What, what's she selling? She's selling. I ain't, uh, I, I ain't seen you once that. No, I ain't doing it. My phone been fucked up, so I ain't, I ain't been getting texts and all that. Okay. I, yeah, I thought I sent you one with real deal. I, 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 yeah, but I didn't know that was you, man. Yeah. I, I open it up and it says, and it is a picture of a girl. I was like, wait a minute. That's my daughter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, they took me like this once before. <laughs> 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 like, didn't a child put an organ me? <laughs> 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 type of stuff man what it is is you order it offline and then it comes straight to your house rather than me having to ship it yeah. so order and it goes directly to your home so i sent it, i thought i sent it with with zach and uh real deal because i couldn't remember y'all name when i was doing it but i'll send you again zach yeah try it again man like i said my, my phone been fucking up it's not the phone one of these days okay so, i'll send it back. i ain't getting it I think it's the house, but either way. Yeah. Anyway. So the tent, your tent, your tent's made out of plastic, right? Is that plastic? Is that... Most of them are, ain't they? You know, if Billy, if you, you know, would build a campfire. What are we doing? Your tent's made out of plastic, right, Billy? <laughs> you may want to build a nice campfire. It's supposed to be windy on Saturday. Yeah. yeah Thanks. Now, Thanks for the gentlemen. Sleeping bag full of goose feathers. You know, you're going to be out there. Mm-hmm. I wish the wind blowing. Put it over there, baby. 
under that tree. Hey, hey honey, I'm gonna build a fire. You go in his house and get some bologna yeah. for the fire. <laughs> get comfortable. He gonna do the same thing he did last time. Leave me outside while he's sitting alive, and then <laughs> 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 and then after it's over, he's like, it's "Too hot outside. It's so nice inside." Man. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go get me a new tent. Zach, yeah, because I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna challenge you to do this thing. Oh, oh yeah. I, I, I see. I just, my only thing is that wild possum that be running through the backyard every other night. Bring your toy too. Them possums ain't doing shit. Though. Every other night he come back there. Well, if I'm back there, I don't know. You know, I don't, I'm, I've been, I've been letting him live. Let me just say, I've been letting him do his thing. He, the damn camera go off. It's him just walking back there. Look. I just let him Well, you go camping and have a dinner. Y'all yeah. don't say nothing about my head. Hold on, let me make sure. Well, don't turn on your camera because I have nothing nice to say today. That's what I got in my backyard sitting right under my porch. Two of them. A gopher? I got one in my house. You need to sit down bed right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. Sorry, everybody. Sorry. All right. Nobody call us when we get off of here. Ah. Ain't nobody. Everybody mind your business. That's the air conditioning you got me up against. You better mind your tongue. You over here acting up. Stop. You've been, you've been drinking. You've been drinking. Oh. You, you find me a good a good tip on Amazon with a good uh a good price. Nice nice big one. Sleep at least four people. I'm easy to set up. Can you find me something like that? Yeah. Miss Erica? Mm -hmm. So Zach, here's a different option. Mm. Get get a um, get a hammock with a tarp. You get your hammock and then put a tarp over it on an angle. No, I think I'm like, gonna... so like a tent. Yeah, I just, I just I want I mean that's ain't a bad idea. I want one that I can just like set up in the back on the deck, you know. Wait, didn't you just get a tent? I mean, uh, not a tent, a hammock last year? One of those hammock tents? I got a bunch of, I got a bunch of stuff. I forget yeah, it. Yeah, it a whole setup with a shower and everything. Right. It, wasn't, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a tent in there. No, I thought it was a hammock tent. I thought it was a hammock and it had the netting to go over it. You gotta check it out. I got a whole bunch. Of well, I love having. Hey, I love having rich friends. Bro. It's, 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 I you see this? This, this hey. is Zach going through his gun safe. When you let by that gun? <laughs> Real deal. Let me say this shit, and then we getting the fuck out of here. All right. Zach called me to ask me if he sold one of his guns. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, I think he did. He, a month later, said, "Hey, you know what? I, I found that damn gun." I love having rich friends. I, I thought I got rid of it. It was under three other guns I forgot I had. Holy oh, moly. Every time I Alito, every once a week, RGC say, uh, I can't find this damn optic. Right. Where the fuck you be? On another gun somewhere you don't shoot no more. Brand new ass optic. Ah, damn boy. This is nice. It must be nice. Yeah, I thought I sold that gun, man. When Billy said it was going, I'm like, I know Billy would know because I know I would tell him about the transaction. And when I was going to sell it, I'd probably be like, listen. I'm going to do this, so chill on the phone with me, so you'll know where I'm at. Know and where I'm at, yeah. It was. I, I went to the store. I found a box. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought this was gone. <laughs> it wasn't gone. <laughs> <laughs> man. All right, man. Listen, listen we appreciate on. everybody hanging out with us, and uh, like I said, teaching and learning each other in this community. Um, let's all walk away with something tonight. You practice your practice. Right. Yeah. We will find you ever find you gonna know on that thing. Yeah. <laughs> when you go grocery shopping this week, buy an extra case of something. Put it up. Yep. Put it up. Stack it up. All right, y'all. We had a wonderful time. Y'all enjoy the evening. Please, be we'll see y'all next time. Peace,